So when you look at global counters, you're, you, you know, you see a long list of those. Even if you filter it on the IP address, you're going to see those numbers there. Um, how do you know which ones are actually active and which ones are, you know, like a week old uh, or 10 days old? Okay. So what I always do, and when I mention global counters, it's really filtered global counter delta. If you're just looking at raw global counters, that's that's going to give you a lot of information. It's what do you do with it? Right, so, right. But if you can filter for a specific thing and then just look at the delta, so say you run the command to look at the delta, you reproduce the issue, you run it again, just for that one interval of time, we will have counters. So that's that's really narrowing the scope down to just that specific type of traffic in that specific instance that you want to look at. And even if it's a number of hosts, you know, it's not just a specific system, you can filter for, uh, say, a destination port, type of traffic, that, that type of thing, and looking at a, a delta interval, that gives you a snapshot of a period of, in time that it's, it's a lot easier to consume and understand. That's good. So once a customer actually views the counters and they're looking in the context that you just described, filtered and with the difference or the delta, um, what do they do with that information from there? I mean, so if, if a customer is looking at the counters and, uh, you know, sometimes that'll help them figure out exactly what's going on. If, if they can't and they need to engage support for assistance with that, providing that data when you open the case can really lead to a faster response and resolution, sometimes even right away. So that's that type of data. If you've done that legwork, uh, so you don't have to do it over again, provide that uh, when you're opening the case and the description, you've got these counters filtered for this specific thing. That tells us what's going on. That and gives us a good starting point. And it's really easy to do, right? Yeah. Because you, you just put a packet filter in there and then it's one command, right? Yeah. And you just include the delta in there. And so that's be pretty easy to figure that out yeah. and share that information with, with you guys.